Happy Estival. Your Royal Highnesses, our Royal Mother, Irene Kuti, my mother, who has always been supporting all of my initiatives from Africa Fashion with London, Africa Fashion with Nigeria, the Queen Moremi Global Initiative. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, I'm going to start with my sister, my big sis, all the way from London, supporting African Fashion Week as well, Her Excellency, Ambassador Dr. Mrs. Abdul Razak, the first lady of Clarity. Thank you very much. My chairperson and special guest of honor, Her Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Toy Saraki. Thank you very much. Thank you. I remember having a conversation with you about this book. Thank you very much for making this occasion today. Special guests of honor, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm Princess Roque Adeninui, the author of the book Unspoken, Oba Umeri, and I'm also the vice chairman of the House of Odidua Foundation. The House of Odidua Foundation it's the official charity of His Imperial Majesty, and we decided to publish this great piece of history because it's the right thing to do. It resonates with the discussion of the moment, breaking the bias. So remembering the lives and legacies of our ancient world role models and celebrating their achievements during Women's History Month is important to us. Unspoken is a narrative of female leadership with a focus on women who reigned as kings hundreds of years ago and their great achievements. So by telling their stories, we believe that our young women of today can read about them and be inspired by them, as it's important for women to have a past that they can leapfrog on into the future. The book is about integrity, it's about grace and the resilience of an African woman. It talks about community responsibilities of an African woman. It talks about how they contributed to building their various communities, their commercial roles, their enterprise roles, and their community roles, and how they were able to combine these great leadership roles with their maternal roles as well. The book is a reawakening of their legacies. It shows that our culture does not relegate or undermine women. So making their stories accessible to women today is really important. We're grateful to the God of creativity for enabling us to complete this Herculean task that we started back in 2018 and concluded in 2022. To our chairman, the Oli Obife, we offer a heartwarming thank you. We wouldn't have been able to publish and complete this book this great piece of history, if we, didn't, if we didn't do it under your stable, as we were faced with so many challenges, so many denials about this great piece of history. My team and I are grateful to everyone who supported us in putting this book together. Who supported us in putting this great masterpiece together. Dr. Lola Dari, Balogo, Aki Oshutokun, Omobakone Adeyemo, Mrs. Fala, Mr. Israel Fatomi, Fatola, who actually put these amazing paintings together representing the female monarchs. And to all our special guests, our panelists as well, my friend Omolara Wu, our presidential aspirant, Mrs. Kadija Okunu, Lamidi, and to MC, Professor Fadu Washington, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Once again, I'm Princess Lincoln, thank you. Let's put our hands together for her one more time. No, no, she deserves more than that. That's, she really deserves that accolade. Thank you. We had um, the founder of the Ondo dynasty, the Oshemawe, who was a female as well. And then we had other ones as well, you know, the Awujales and the Owaoboku of Elisha, about six of them, one who actually ruled for 40 years. And then I found out that um, no one was actually saying anything about them. It was as if their history was deliberately swept under the carpet. So my research started from there. I started asking people if they had any knowledge of them. People in my generation knew nothing about them. 
even people older than me, you know, did not even have a clue. And that's how the research started. It was really challenging because people were denying the fact that there were female obas. There was even a notion that, ah, no, a female cannot be a king, though, that it's a taboo in Yoruba land. But um, as we've all seen it today, you know, under the stable of His Imperial Majesty and the House of Odudua, which is the official charity of His Imperial Majesty, the Orni of Ife, we've been able to uh, publish, complete and publish the book of Unspoken. So it has so many things in there. We uh, decided to tell their stories to inspire, you know, other young women to go into leadership roles. You, you don't necessarily have to be a king, but whatever you do, try to be a leader in whatever you do. Try to leave a legacy. You know, the same way these women left legacies and we're celebrating their legacies today. So it's like a reawakening of their legacies to inspire, you know, women of our generation and younger generation as well. Ah, we started in 2018. Like I said, we faced so many obstacles, but we had to go knocking on the door under, you know, the name of His Majesty that we're here from the Orni of Ife. 